Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today on Patreon, we have posted up the last four solution videos to Rift Clown's brilliant interaction sequence of puzzles involving um, multiple lines in artistic works in his gallery. Um, and we're delighted to have been able to put them um, up on Patreon. We're delighted that Rift Clown gave us that collection to have as February's monthly reward. And very well done to those of you who got through it. The Scroll of Honor will be with you shortly. Um, now, there was one Easter egg puzzle. Rift Clown likes to include those. And in this particular pack, um, if you found towards the end of the pack, you had to replace a tiny URL stream with a load of X's on it with the right numbers from the other puzzles to submit the final solution. But if you just clicked on that bogus link with all the X's, it wasn't a bogus link. It came up with this Easter egg puzzle called The Gallery by Riff Clown, which therefore was available to everybody but wasn't in the pack. So, um, so we got some requests to show a video solve of it. Now I haven't solved it, so I thought, why not do it as a channel video? And that way we get a way to thank Riff Clown for letting us use that brilliant set of puzzles for our patron reward. Um, already, of course, he will have received a lot more adulation and solves of those puzzles than would normally be the case. But this is our tribute to him. Um, and I'm going to have a go at what I believe is quite a hard puzzle, the Gallery by Riff Clown. And I'll do that in a moment. Now, on Patreon this month, of course, we have a very different challenge based on negative constraints. It's called Evening Attractions. It involves um, six puzzles and then one meta. Um, all of them involve negative constraints. If, you are, if you've if you been watching the channel for a while, you will know how to do some of them. There are yin-yangs and German whispers and all sorts of things that we regularly find on the channel. Battenbergs, which we don't. Um, there are all sorts. Anyway, do check it out. It's it's great fun. It is on Patreon now. You can enter until the 20th. And then, of course, for the $3 a month and above patrons, there will be solution videos too. So looking forward to that. But for now, um, that's what's on Patreon. And we've also got all sorts of stuff going on. There's all of our apps, which are absolutely brilliant. We're in the processes of beginning to compile another which will be great. There are um, our merchandise on a link under the video and Sven Sudoku pad. But the first link is to this puzzle, the hidden Easter egg puzzle from February's Interactions Pack. It's the Gallery by Riff Clown. And the rules are, um, well, it's an irregular Sudoku. We're gonna place one to nine in every row, every column, and every marked region. So it's not quite normal Sudoku rules in that sense. Now, digits on a purple Renban line, these are the wider lines, form a set of consecutive digits in any order. If you did the pack, you will recognize eight cell square Renbans as quite familiar. Um, digits on a thin blue region sum line have the same total for each region the line enters. Um, different lines may have different totals. So that will equal the same as those three, for instance, because they're in one region and that's in another. Now, on a gold Nabna line, digits may not repeat. And any digits, no two consecutive digits can appear anywhere on, one of the, on this line. Uh, so if two is on this line, then one and three can't be on it. And this is a different line, but the same is true for this. So really intriguing. These... I can tell you that four given digits is incredibly few, even for an irregular Sudoku. So the lines are gonna to have to do some work for me here, or I'm gonna to have to do some work with the lines. Give it a try on the link under the video. I'm gonna start now. Let's get cracking somehow. So there are two given sevens, and that makes me wonder if seven is a good digit with which to start. I don't know. I mean, there are there are places in this grid. I'm just very quickly, partly for your edification and partly to help myself, going to highlight the cells where seven can't go. So we start with rows and columns. 
connected to the other sevens. Then we branch out into regions. Um, just make, want to make sure I get the right region. Okay, so that's all of those cells seven can't be in. Are there any, well, it can't be in these cells which have a different digit in. Are there any other places? Yes. These, ren the, these e region sum lines have a three cell portion and a one cell portion. So the one cell portions are going to be six, seven, eight, or nine. Um, oh, and they're both in places where seven can't go, so there's six, eight, or nine. But the three cell portion can't have a seven in, because once you put a seven in that, the minimum that section can add up to is ten. So I can at least chop off those two cells. I thought I might get more out of this. Yeah, no, this is good for this. Um, this Renban has got to have a seven on it. An eight cell Renban line is only missing one digit. And to maintain the consecutiveness of the other digits on it, it's either one or nine that's missing. Now that doesn't mean it goes in the middle because this hasn't necessarily a set of the digits one to nine in this section. But it does mean we need a 7 on this line. It has to be in one of those cells. Now that rules out a few more cells as not having 7 on. That's getting a bit interesting now. Um, now, are there any other regions? Yeah, I mean, this region's getting tough. There's not many places it can get its 7. Oh, and these are in the same region as these two cells, so they're gone. Now, where are the sevens? Okay, where's the seven in the last row? It's in one of those three cells now. Has to be. So that's not a seven. Where is the seven in row eight? It's got to be here on the NABNA line. So that rules out those. Now we're getting to limit seven on... On this other Renban, are we? Probably. Oh, seven can be there. I just want to get a bit more out of this. It would be great to force seven onto this region sum line. Now, seven's in one of these three cells, right? It's not there because all of those three cells and seven must appear on one of them to get on that Renban. They all see that cell. So that's not a seven. That's not a seven because it's in the same region as a seven I've placed. Dull. So one of these is a seven and that's not a seven. And they're not sevens. And the seven in this top right region is now definitely here. Yes. So there, this, this colouring was actually worth doing. It probably won't be for any other digit. I think I can... I oh know, I was going to say I could put a seven there. No, I can put a seven here in this region, which needs a seven. Then that goes yellow. That's the seven for the... For, region one, the region that uses row one, column one, that's going to rule out a bunch of sevens. And it's going to place one in row five and on the ren band there and one on the other ren band there. And this can go yellow. And that's, in fact, I can get rid of the seven marking. And that's the last seven in the grid. And there are all the sevens. And now I can get rid of all my yellow, which has done its lovely job. OK, now this region sum line. That's why I wanted to get a seven on a region sum line, because it must go with a one or a two to make a total of eight or nine. Uh, that doesn't really go anywhere else, does it? But I get a one or a two there. Now, on this NABNA, we can't put eight or six now. Can that be a six? We'd have one, two, three here. How would the Nabna cope? It would have one or three in one of those cells. Oh, hang on. This Nabna can't have five on either because there's a five in its region. So now we can't put five, six, seven, or eight in any of these cells. We can have two from one, two, three, four, but you can't get more than those in. So nine must be... Ah, nine must be on the NABNA, but it can't be in either of those cells, which are in this 
three sales sum on the region sum line. So nine goes there. These two are definitely low digits from one, two, three, four. Um, which is unsurprising given the region sum line, but maybe I can't get more out of that. However, nine... Nine is not in any of these three cells. Now, I am noticing something else about... Okay, the law of leftovers is a very useful law to know about when you're doing um, irregular Sudoku. So imagine that we cut the grid after row five, that we put a line between the top five rows and the bottom four rows. Um, and that, in fact, I could do that. In, I don't have to quite imagine it in this imaginary way. Let's do that with an actual orange line. There we go. So I'm slicing the grid there. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because Below that line, we must have four sets of the digits one to nine. But I'm also looking at these four regions, which I'm now going to highlight, which also contain four of the sets of digits one to nine. There, that is another set of four of the, four of the digits one to nine. Now the differences between those two sets of four lots of one to nine were those three cells versus those three cells. They must now be exactly the same three cells because they're missing. They're the three cells missing from four sets of one to nine in the bottom four rows. And they're the three cells missing from four sets of one to nine in the four regions. So those, let's use green, those are the same digits. And this grid is very symmetrical. And that means the same applies to those three and those three. I'm just going to get rid of my line, which I was sort of an explanatory line. Those three are the same as those three. And actually, I see that this works north and south now as well. And this is going to get a bit complicated, but I'm going to do it anyway. Those three purples are the same as those three purples. Those three blues are the same as those three blues. And again, if you draw a line between column five and column six, you see why those... Well, I can't be right because I've got a seven in blue there and not there. Oh, I've done it the wrong way round, have I? Hang on, something's gone wrong here. I'm sure the logic was right. Oh yeah, yeah, I have done it the wrong way round. If I draw the line between column five and six, I get that those three are the same as those three which does make sense. And those three are the same as those three. Wow, I thought I'd absolutely blown the puzzle early on. Now, this, I don't know what this is telling us. It's telling us that that one or two digit is one of these purple ones. Okay, we, we learn that nine, seven, and five are not in green from this region. Therefore, these digits are not five, seven, and nine. And nine in this row must be somewhere here, for instance. Um, five, though, could be there, so I'm not going to go to bananas over that. Now, earlier I was considering whether that could be a six. This would have to be a one, three pair to maintain the Navna rule, and that would be a two. Oh, and this would then be a pair that added up to six. That would be one, five. This would be two, four. But it does seem to hang together, so bother. Right, this nab, now I haven't thought about that until now. It's going to contain one digit from eight and eight. It doesn't have a seven on it, obviously. It's going to have one digit from eight and nine. It's going to have one from six and five, one from four and three, and one from two and one. That's the only way it can have these things on it without, without breaking in some way. I, I, I do know... I do understand, I'm not actually getting very far lately, but I'm just trying to think of the things which may matter in this puzzle. I got all the sevens placed. You can't knock me for that. That's a start. I mean, five is also not in purple, so it's not up there. 
and it's obviously not here. Five is not in purple and it's not in green. So in this central box, five is in one of these cells. Which is quite interesting, but not maybe mega helpful. Oh, it's very hard for me to see where we progress at all. Sorry, I, I really am just a bit baffled as to how we can even go about solving this at the moment. So just bear with me while I, while I think of something interesting that'll help solve it. Um, it's very difficult. This line is going to have to have two, three, four, five, six, eight on, but we've done virtually nothing with those digits. Three can't be in yellow because of this row, so those don't include a three. I don't know, does that have to be the same as that? It's possible. Ah, oh, sorry, this this is this is hard. If that was this digit is from one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's not eight. So eight must go in these three cells and is therefore one of the greens. So eight's one of the greens here as well. Um, and that gives us four cells of this Renban that eight is not on. Which is slightly interesting and I wouldn't go beyond that degree of warmth. Um, right, anything else? Anything else? Anybody got any ideas for me? These three add up to that, which is eight or nine. Now, annoyingly, there's no rule that the blue digits have to be different all the way around the ring. Um, is there law of leftovers stuff that is different from what I found? There might be. I mean, we could draw a line after column three, and those three are sticking out, as are those two, and they must be the same digits as these five which are sticking in, but that doesn't, doesn't strike me as very helpful, I have to say. How about this central digit, which isn't in green, yellow, blue, or purple? So it, it's not seven, but it must be in this group of cells, and in this group of cells, and in this group, and in this group. I don't know how to use that. It's probably quite interesting. It actually, that... Oh, no, that's almost very interesting. That is only four instances in the four areas I've highlighted. And there's one in the middle. I was wondering if that was going to push whatever was the digit into two corners of the puzzle. But it doesn't, it's not quite that strong a, a restriction, unfortunately. Gosh, gosh, Amami, I'm really struggling here. Okay, these have to be separate from each other. If that's a 9, that could be a 4-2 pair with a 3 there. Or a 3-1 pair with a 5 here. It is a little restricted how it would work. But I think that still leaves quite a number of digits that could go in this cell. If it's a 6, it has to be a 2. If it's an 8, it can't be a 5. So it's four or three. So it's now two, three or four. And if it's a nine, it could be four, two there with a three here. Or one, three here with a five here. So, I mean, that's left quite a few digits that could be in that cell. That wasn't really worth the effort and the time spent on it. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to think of something else, and I don't know what it is. So, okay, where does that digit go? 
on this line? I don't know, because I was going to say maybe it has to be in one of those cells, but it could be down there, so that doesn't work at all. Right, I'm really, yeah, this is difficult. I think one of our correspondents said they could do one or two early moves, but then were completely stuck. I suspect they're at this point in this puzzle right now. Three. Three. Three in the top row. Can't be there. Could it be here? Then it'll be on one of those cells. I don't see why it can't be on either of those. So it could be there. Otherwise, it's in that region. Three's not in yellow. Actually, that's interesting. This three is not in yellow. Therefore, it's not in any of those cells. Therefore, it is on this Nabna line. And that means that two and four are not on this Nabna line. And one of them is going to have to go into yellow, at least. Is a bit interesting. Right, three is in one of those cells. I hadn't seen that coming. Um, it's not here on the Ren ban, is that? That doesn't seem very interesting. Don't pursue that, Mark. Two and four are not on the Nabna, because three is. Oh, does one have to be? Yes, it does. One has to be there as well, because we need one low digit. And then there'll be one from five and six, which isn't prescribed now, and one from eight and nine, which also isn't prescribed. Oh, hang on. Eight can't be in those cells, and eight can't be there on this three cell... Um, region sum line. So 8 is also on the Nabna. 9 is now not on the Nabna. 9 cannot be there, again on the three cell region sum line. So 9 must be in yellow. And 9 cannot be in those cells of yellow because of the region sum line. So 9 is there. 9 is now also in purple and must go there. Oh, that got interesting in a hurry. 9 is not in blue. Right, I'm just going to remove the two and four um, corner marking because it's not as useful as, as I want it to be. And I'm going to change, well, I'm going to add to this pencil marking the digit five or six. So I know this is a confusing area, but these digits are made up of one, three, eight, and either five or six. Eight is not on these cells, which are on the blue line. And it's quite unlike, well, it's likely to be a 1-3 pair. I suppose 5 could, actually 5 is the digit, yeah, 5 could be on them. If that was 3-5, that would be a 1. Okay, anyway, these cells are from, oh, they don't include 8. They're f well, no, they don't include 1-3 or 8, in fact. They're from 2 4 5 6, 9. So these ones are as well, because they're yellow too. Now, blue, uh, sorry, purple is 9, 7, and a 1 or a 2. So that digit is a 1 or a 2 and not an 8. Now, 8 could... Ah, oh, no, this can't be a 9, and this is the region sum total. So that can't be 8 anymore because of that region sum adding up to that. So now we've got 8 in the overlap of green and blue. So one of these is 8, and now it can't be on that region some bit because of that being no more than 8. So 8 is there, and 8 is in green, which we've known for ages. 9 has gone on to the uh, Renban, so 1 won't be on the Renban. Interesting. The blues... Yes, that's why they call it the blues. Oh, I've got an 8 there. So that's become a 9 by Sudoku. And this pair has to add up to 9 in the region sum world. In fact, that's a 2 in the region sum world. And this pair adds up to 9. They must have an odd digit. So they're 5 and 4. 
and now yellow is 459. So 5 doesn't appear on the NABNA, which is 136 and 8. That's 459. We've got a 7. We finish off the region with a 2. That pair must be a 6 1 pair to make the region sum line work. And now we've found a 1 6 pair on the NABNA and a 3 8 pair. Going to take out the, the corner marking of 9 there. Now, in this central box, we've got 459 in yellow. 972 is purple. I've just learned that at the top. We've got 1, 3, and 6 to place. And this blue section will get that 4 or 5. Now, what do we know about this? This could still be a 6 with 1, 3 there and 2 there. Otherwise, it's an 8 with a 1 here and 3 or 4 here. So this isn't a 5 anymore. That's not powerful. Um, but this pair also has to add up to 6 or 8. Now, if it's 8, it's not 2, 6 or 7, 1. It would be 3, 5. And if it's 6, it's not 2, 4, so it would be 5, 1. So there's always a 5 there. And that makes this cell by Sudoku a 4, and that one a 5. And this is either a... F this is blue, is 8, 5, and one other digit, actually, which we know from there. But that other digit is not a 6. It's a 1 or a 3. Green is now 8 and 2, and either 1, 3, or 6. Well, it's not one in one of those cells on that Renban. I know that, but I know no more. It's funny how this comes together, having, you know, virtually nothing a moment ago. Now I've got some information. Now, what else am I going to learn? That's not a five. We have to have five in one of these cells, and I've got that given five. Why are the black digits harder to see than the, than the blue? I don't know, just because I'm mad. Right, that is one or three. Now, the five, oh, that is the five in this region. I was just going to wonder where that goes, but that's fairly clear. Oh, where's two on this Renban? It's not there. It's got to be in one of those two cells. Two is one of the numbers that must appear on it. That's not a two. That's not a two. In fact, there's a two there, so even that's not a two. So these are now one, three, four, and add up to eight. Oh, why haven't I noticed that before? Because there's so many things to focus on, is the, is the answer. Now, three and four can't be together there. Oh, we know that. One of those is a one. Because of the Nabna rule, I was thinking. So, 1, 3, 4 there. Where do 1, 3, and 4 go? In this crazy region, they go in these cells. And 1 does not go on the Renban, because 9's already on it, and it's only an 8-cell Renban. So, 1 is there. This Renban now has 9, 7, 3, and 4. It needs 2, 5, 6, and 8. Five. Oh, it's going to have to be in one of those cells. Hang on, what are these three? Because they finished the region. They are five, six, and eight. Also, in this row, we need one, six, and eight. And that's not a one. So one is placed in the row. So going back to the Renban, seven, nine, three, four are done. Two has to be in one of those and not there. Um, this is not a one because one is down there, so green doesn't have a one in, so that's not a one either. Four, five, nine. So should I look at this symmetrical region? Yeah, I'm going to, oh, well, I was just thinking, where did 216 go in this region? I was gonna fill them in there, but actually that could be a one and scupper that project a little. I thought I was going to make progress on this region. I've done absolutely nothing in that. Okay, where is 8 in this? Oh, 8's already in the region. Getting excited. Where's 8 in this row then? No, where's 8 in this region? Only one place. There it is. That's the right question. 
Now that's chopped eight out of those cells. There's a three eight pair there and there's an eight there. So I can place eight in region one. I don't call any of the other region by name. That's not eight. Is one of those two an eight? Or is that the eight in region? Might be region three. It just depends how you see it. Uh, I don't know is the answer anyway. Okay, what about this Renban? If that was a one, then nine's not on the Renban, and that's a four, five pair. One, four, five, eight, seven. We've got two, three, and six still to place on the Renban. Ah, I've just noticed that there's a three in one of those cells, so those don't have a three on. So the three on the Renban is on the right-hand side somewhere in one of those cells. I thought that might help, but it doesn't really. Well, that's not a three. So three in this region is in one of those cells. We are, oh, but three is in one of those two cells on the Renban. So three isn't there. We placed three in this bottom left region. Eight, one, six, two, seven, three. So these are from four, five, nine. Well, they're not five, that's already in the region. So they're a four nine pair and that is five and those aren't. So this region now has four nine seven, five eight. We need one, two, three and six to go in it. Three is definitely in one of these two cells in this region because of that three eight pair. So that's not a three. Um, I don't know. I can't get any further. I'm going back to this one. Has anything happened with that? Seven, nine, three, and four. Two's in one of those cells along with five, six, or eight. I mean, we really are a, a hair away from this whole thing collapsing actually now. Oh, that one has been there for literally ages, telling me to disambiguate this six one pair. That can't be a six now. And there's a 3-4 pair looking at that cell as well. Gosh, sorry, I'm mistyping digits. That can't be an 8. Useless chocolate teapot. Triple. This is a naked 4 now. It sees 1, 3, 6, 7, 9 in its row. 2, 5, 8 in its column. That has to be a 4. Uh, then in this column, I'm going to have a 1 and 6 to place. And that cell is in the same region as a 1. So that's done. Now, in this column, I've got two and nine to place in those two cells, and that one can't be a nine because of the four nine pair. So that's a two, and that's a nine, and this is not a two. Five, six, eight are the cells left to place on this Renban, so that can't be a five, and that must be five. That deals with the chocolate teapot triple. And I think that was probably, I claimed we didn't need much more action and I think we didn't so I hope yeah I've got nine in that region so six and nine are done you just have to be very careful with the scanning in these puzzles to, to make sure you're picking up everything I and mean, I'm sure I'm not but I'm picking up what I can six is in that region so eight there that fixes green is two six eight uh, I haven't finished blue yet never mind Let's look up this column where we've got two, five, and three to place. As we have in box, box top right. Um, okay, I've got that four, nine pair. No, I don't know, let's... Eight, six, two, that can't be two. Eight, six, two, seven. So in this row I need a one in one of those cells. Must be. Sorry, lost control. Um, a one in one of those cells. So I've still got a one to place in one of those and a one in one of those. The Renbat, the, sorry, the Nabna doesn't tell me about that. Oh, this is on the Region sum line has been for ages and is therefore a three. Three and five make eight. So we get a one in the center. That's a three. 
that's now not a three. Um, this region needs one, two, and six to be placed. But the Renban needs a six on in one of those positions. And I've marked them as having a two because the Renban needs a two. So that is now a six, two pair. That is a one. Let's get, oh, sorry. Let's get rid of the corner marks there. Eight, seven, two, six, five. So I've got, that's a naked four. That's a one. That's not. Now, this Renban, two, six, seven, eight, five, three, it needs a four in one of these positions and either a one or a nine. So it can't have a one. So it's actually got to be a four, nine pair, which doesn't quite finish that Renban off, but at least I know what makes it up now. And, and we are getting close. So... So, 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 eight, six, two, seven. That's a four, nine pair looking at that cell, which is therefore a three. That's five, that's four. That's now a two, that's three at the top. That's not three in the corner, it's a two, five pair. This is a three, six pair. We've got four and five along the bottom row. That's become a nine, that's four, that's nine, four, nine. Lovely, in they go. In like flint. Six there, two there, six here, two here. This region needs a one. We get a five here, two and five on the other side of the grid. We come back for a four and a one and we've finished. And that is the gallery, the last Easter egg puzzle. Great fun. Typical of Riff Clown's inventiveness, his elegance in setting up the puzzle. Um, let me just get rid of the colouring that I added so we can admire the original beauty of the colouring, the symmetry of the form always with Riff Clown, and another magnificent puzzle. Just that's what Riff Clown does. Uh, Riff Clown is multi-talented, and in a moment you're going to hear music by Riff Clown playing some of Sonata for Chile. And uh, we are very grateful to Riff Clown for everything he does that helps us out. And we'll hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.